Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this special edition of Blue Sky. We have a very interactive uh, session today, and we have a very special guest with us. I'm sure this person requires no introduction, but I've been handed an intro, so I will make an intro. Uh, Suraj Mani, as you know, has been the writer, composer, frontman uh, for the iconic rock band from India, Mother Jane. And so he's been in the music industry, the Indian music scene for uh, more than 20 years now. And uh, it all, you know, it started all as a matter of luck and coincidence. So it so happened that his uh, seniors in college ragged him and asked him to sing songs. And when he finished singing, they started applauding. And that's when he realized, you know, he has a talent for it. And uh, now he's come such a long way. Uh, after Mother Jane, he started his new act called Suraj Mani and the Tatwa Trip. And I'm sure we are all going to be uh, going on a Tatwa trip. He's going to talk to us. He's going to sing. He's going to get you guys up on stage. Uh, he's going to uh, spread his you know, contemporary philosophy and worldview. And basically, he's going to celebrate the beauty and essence of things. And we believe that you know, this is a, uh, a journey which all of us will cherish. So get ready to experience the untold stories of the world brought alive through poetry and acoustic rock by India's rock poet, Suraj Mani. Good evening, everybody. Flip God, come on. We learn to ignore oceans to wake up to changing times to rediscover with innocence of boundaries are in life. Yeah. 
I'm expecting a lot more louder applause than that from Flipkart. Come on, you guys are. One of the things that I heard when I actually came, uh, yeah, yeah, actually, come on, come in front. Make my day a lot more fun. One of the things that I heard from somebody who was showing me around the place a few days ago, he says, there are lots of smart people who work in Flipkart. I said, okay, TK. Then that's my audience because uh, I like playing for smart people. So are you guys smart people? Yeah? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Is your founder here? He should not hear who said that kind of thing. <clears throat> okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming in today. Uh, my name is Suraj Mani. I shall make a brief introduction of myself after this. But before that, let me thank uh, Dikshita, Devika, um, Amanda, Rajesh, and uh, whoever it is that has actually made this possible for me to come here today. Uh, thank you all for coming in. I hope you have a good time. You're supposed to sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. Okay, it's a very casual thing. Of course, we'll call you on stage and make a fool out of you. And all that. <laughs> no, 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 we won't do that. This is actually, uh, before I get into that, let me make a brief introduction of myself. My name is Suraj Mani. I am the frontman of a band called the Tatwa Trip. And uh, I'm a couple of things, actually. Uh, I'm a poet. I'm a singer. I'm a songwriter. I'm a composer. I'm a guitarist. I'm a music producer. I'm a performer. <laughs> okay, and because, you, you see, I find that people get stuck in life because they define themselves. They define who they are. And they define that they make the definition so strong that they become prisoners of that definition. And so I am a guy who kind of understood long back that there are contradictions that exist within all of us. And if you embrace your contradictions, you should, because they are actually a very important part of you. And you will need them in certain situations in life. So you need to embrace your contradictions so that you can arrive appropriate to the moment. Because if you can't arrive appropriate to the moment, then you can't arrive appropriate to your destiny. So... As somebody who does embrace my contradictions, I am also an engineer. I am the founder, CEO of uh, Suraj Mani Engineers. We are an air conditioning company. I've been doing that for the last 24 years now. Uh, we do turnkey air conditioning contracts for tech parks, hotels, hospitals. In fact, we have air conditioned Flipkart as well, so I'm your contractor as well. <laughs> You've never had Michael Jackson as your contractor, no? Suraj Mani will do that also. 
Anyway, uh, so that's one more thing that I do. And then there's one more thing that I do, which is that I'm also the founder CEO of Oh My Artists. And uh, Oh My Artists is a, a, a media company and a music label as well. We have done a number of properties like Music Mojo. I don't know, anybody have seen Music Mojo here? A lot of people, very good. Uh, Music Mojo, the Muse Room, we have been involved in properties like uh, Mojo Rising, the Home Festival, Oh My Gigs. We have created infrastructure for independent artists in Bangalore, something called Double O Heaven, where artists can actually do their own gigs. Sound, lights, everything is provided. You can shoot videos and stuff like that. And recently, we've also launched something called Tigger. It's pronounced as Tigger, it's spelled as T-G-I-I-R, and it stands for the Great Indian Indie Recordings. I'm going to guilt all of you into downloading the app at the end of the session. Yeah, uh, because basically it's something that you can use to fund and revive indie music, and that's something that I'm very passionate about. And so I've told you a lot about myself, and uh, you know, if you want to ask me questions during the session about any one of these things, I will answer. And uh, I also want this to be an interactive session. So what we are going to do some, is actually something that I've not done with this kind of numbers before. Um, you guys are up for a game? Yeah, don't worry, it's, you don't have to run and all that. All you computer nerds sitting behind one desk the whole day. Uh, we shall not do that because even I can't run, so... <laughs> so anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on the Tatwa trip. Okay, Tatwa, in case you do not know, is Sanskrit for the principle of things, you know, the essence of things. And the trip is obviously a pun and uh, it is also a metaphor for life. So we're going to take the various principles that govern your life and we're going to trip on them. We're not going to let these principles be our masters. Rather, we are going to be the masters of these principles. You see, I believe that life is beautiful. Sometimes it is not. And when it is not beautiful, you need to actually walk around that situation. And you walk around and look at it from different angles. And at one angle, you will see something beautiful about that situation. I typically write a song when I get to that angle. But I'm always looking for that angle. And it's helpful because even the most toughest parts of my life, I have a song now which actually sets me at ease. So this is my invitation to you. Take the trip with me. Leave your life. Take a break from what is life for you on a normal day-to-day -day basis. Go on a journey and explore, not just through your eyes, but be a tatwa tripper. Now what is a tatwa tripper? A tatwa tripper is someone who can move through time and space. Somebody who does not know limitations. Somebody who can see into the hearts and minds of people around them. And somebody who embraces their contradictions and comes back with lessons and songs and stories. I'm going to ask nine people out of this group to pick a topic and we will talk. We will interact. You will tell me your stories. We will see how our journeys are meeting and uh, we shall have a good time. How does that sound? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, no. So I'm stopping the program unless this is getting louder. Yes. yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, there is one very pretty lady over there. That is uh, Srimoy Reina. And uh, she will actually come with some cards. Actually, if you can see those cards there, she's holding up those cards. Can you see her? Even if you don't see the cards, look at her. Uh, Anyway, so she will come. Each one of those cards is actually a topic. It is something that we can talk about. Um, I'm going to ask various people. Largely, I'm just going to split this audience into maybe eight, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four there. So uh, somebody from the back on that side, volunteer. I need somebody who will lift a hand and just pick up. Somebody, anybody? Last row there. We need brave people. If there's something that our country needs, ah, actually we found a brave woman. Now, if you would actually tell me what you've picked, the name of a song, it is the name of a song. Uh, hi, I'm Sneha Abraham. The name is Maya. 
Name is Maya. You picked a very, very, very appropriate song for the times of the day. Uh, thank you. Uh, your name is uh, Sneha. Sneha. I almost called you Maya. I won't call you Maya. Uh, Sneha, thank you. And uh, where are you from? Kerala. I'm from Kerala. Yeah, <laughs> my sister. Okay, TK. Um, see, uh, uh, how long have you been in Flipkart now? I joined it in March recently. Okay. okay. And so, is this the first time out of Kerala for you? And, no, you know, I'm from 2009, I'm out of Kerala. You've been yeah. moving around the country. Yes. Now, uh, as a woman who's actually living in India, uh, modern India, and a modern woman who's working, having to probably live on your own outside and all those things, uh, you would kind of identify with Maya. You, you can take a seat if you like to now. Uh, Maya is about the Indian girl child, really. Maya is about the Indian girl child who never got a chance to live. And uh, I think the best thing to do is to remember what has been happening in our country for the last so many years now. I won't say it started now. It started long back. And that's why the song, I wrote the song in 2000, in the year 2000, and unfortunately, it's still valid. Is now. 
Little sister, your name will do. Just my that was mine. In this place, that is nothing new. It's so All right, so where is Rimailena? Okay, thank um, Somebody, one of those guys from the back benches. Whenever I went to college, the first place we all went to was the back bench. The mic is switched off. My name is Raghavendra V and uh, it's Mind Street. Mind Street. Ha, you picked a tough one for me. Please don't think that I'm going to solo and all that. Not bad. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you, Raghavendra. Where are you from? I'm from Bangalore. I'm from Bangalore. Uh, any passion for music? Uh, I have, like, I listen to flute, more of flute. Okay. In Indian flute as well as. Uh, Western flute. Okay. Right. okay. So we shall disappoint you today. Please sit down. <laughs> no issues. Uh, <laughs> love of music is either way. That is so. true. <laughs> uh, let me tell you a little bit about uh, Mind Street. Uh, thank you, Rapindra. Um Actually, somebody was asking me a question there before. Vishnu. Vishnu, correct? Correct? Yeah, that's Vishnu. He was saying, how is it that you managed to do your business and, uh, you know, music at the same time? And I think uh, I wrote Mind Street almost like an answer to that because uh, most of us are smart people. Flipkart, so yeah, we're all smart people. So w what happens is that if you ask yourself why you can't do something and you're a smart person, you will get answers for that, right? If you're very smart, you'll actually get a lot of answers for why you can't do something. So instead of asking yourself why you can't do something, you should start your asking yourself how you can do something because you'll get answers for that as well. And uh, if you're as smart as all you guys are, you'll get lots of answers. So, you know, uh, I think most of the time uh, we have to go inside here because we've got a lot of faulty programming that has happened over the years. We've ha we have a lot of belief systems that actually limit us. Um, Asterix, there is this famous saying that the only thing we need to fear is fear itself. And that is true, really. Uh, you remove the fear, remove the hesitation, and you can really achieve a lot of things. And please don't think that it is all achieved in one go. Sometimes it takes many years. But uh, anybody, where do you live, Raghavendra? Vasanagar. Ah, okay. Now, if you're leaving home, and if you say that I will only go when there is green lights all the way from Vasanagar to, what is this place called? God, Bisnahali, what a name. Okay, uh, if you say that, you can't go, right? Life is pretty much like that. You don't actually have to have green lights all the way till the end. You get out, you leave, you hit a junction, maybe you get a green light and you speed through, maybe the next one is going to be a red light. You wait for some time. You will learn something, sing a song, do something else, and then when the green light comes, you move. You can actually cover a lot of distance by doing that, not just physically but metaphorically as well. So this one is actually going about going in here and changing your life. This one's called Mind Street. <laughs>
Thank you, thank you. And uh, who else is going to volunteer now? Now by this time I'm looking for volunteers. Anybody wants to raise your hand? Oh yes, come. What is your name? Anup. Anup. Uh, I will need you to pick a, a card. Anup has even come as far as this, so he's going to do something. <laughs> now that he has committed. Yeah, go ahead and please announce. I don't know which songs you're picking, really. Some doors have opened. Some doors have opened. Some okay. <laughs> Anup, uh, where are you from? Uh, from Bangalore only, yes. We're from Bangalore. Okay, Anup, I'm going to ask you a question because that's the way the song came to me. But have you ever noticed that, you know, um, are you good at something? I mean, is there something that you are good at? Yeah, many things I'm good at. Definitely. Okay, tell me one of them. We know there are many of them. He's going to tell us one. Okay. Not mastered really, but I'm good at dance. At dance. Nice. Have you guys ever, ever seen Anup dance? <laughs> I don't want to, but I'm not a master in it. So I'm just a, uh, uh, I've uh, just seen a couple of YouTube videos and uh, TVs. Uh, that's how I learned. I'm not, I'm not master. Please don't ask me to dance. <laughs> <laughs> don't put me in trouble. <laughs> okay. Anyway, here's, here's one little life secret. Okay. If you are good at something and if it's in your area of interest, when somebody asks you to stretch, you should stretch. Correct? 
Yeah, because if you, let's say you're a, a dancer and somebody asks you to bake a cake and you don't know to bake a cake, then you can tell them, I can't bake a cake, you know. But in generally in life, when somebody says, okay, are you a dancer? Yeah. Can you show us one step or something like that? And since it's in your area of this thing, you should stretch because you, that's the way you grow. Are we with him on this? Are we? Yeah. But we need some music, no? Otherwise, Nanu, poor guy, he will get uh, any any songs that you have in your. That is the reason I don't want to raise my hand. No, no, you walked up here, so. <laughs> I have the swag uh, which we have composed. Yeah. Wow, well, he's composed music also. Please. I have a feeling today is going to be a long session, okay? <laughs> I can always stop whenever you want to go home, okay? <laughs> you want to stage? If it's bad, you can stop fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually, it's not my time. I, I, I find people fascinating. And uh, so one of the things that I actually like to do... See, I'm a songwriter. And the best source of songs are actually observing people and understanding what makes people tick and what makes them move. And uh, unless you are observing other people, you're really never going to come up with anything great. So, Anup, yeah, <laughs> go for it. So whenever you feel like killing it, you just tell them and we shall clap for you. We are committed to clapping for a no. Okay, guys, done? Uh. <laughs>
I'm liking this interaction thing, okay. By the way, you guys don't know how much I'm stretching. I have 78 songs there. I'm going to sing 8 songs, but I practiced 78. It's a headache. <laughs> uh, so who is going to volunteer? We need a lady. We need a lady now. Ah, Sagarika, right? Something embarrassing. I am raising rascals in Flipkart right now. <laughs> the win. The win. Wow. Are you into sports or anything like that? Not. No. Not at all. No. Maybe this is the message. <laughs> Maybe you should start doing some sports and start stretching in that area. <laughs> stretching. <laughs> all right, Sagrika, please. Uh, where are you from? I am from Jammu. Jammu? Yeah. Wow. Okay, please. Um, I'll tell you the story behind uh, why I wrote this particular song. I actually actually gone to uh, a foundation that is into sports. They are called uh, what's that foundation called? My God, I take all these songs, but I forget the foundation's name. What are they called? Go Sport Foundation. Uh, Rahul Dravid is on the chair and all those things. So the aim of Go Sport Foundation, by the way, if you want to fund them, also you can do that, uh, is to actually create Olympic gold winners for India. And they say that in a country with so many billion people, why is it that we don't have? And there are lots of talent. Sometimes they don't have the infrastructure. And, uh, you know, some of them don't have shoes. Some of them don't have food. Some of them don't have training and coaches and stuff. And when I was meeting the lady who was actually talking about this, she said that there was one particular chap called Supriyo Mondal or something like that. She said, we're training this guy to go for the Rio, Rio Olympics and he has to cut some point three seconds on his time to qualify. I said, what? He said, yeah, yeah, we're training. So we're going to train for the next six months so that we can cut that time so they can qualify. And I just realized that how much effort it actually takes to do something like that. Hi, Devika. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I, I actually, it made me think, and you know, I, I was home. Like I said, whenever I see a situation, it's a possible song for me. And so I remembered this Greek mythology and uh, there is, uh, if you know Greek mythology, there is uh, the, the, the beginning, I mean, the, the god of all gods is Kronos, who is time, he stands for time. And Kronos is a cruel god, because he, he kills even his own children. 
time consumes everything right so chronos also eats his own children but uh, zeus escapes chronos and uh, when he grows strong and big he actually with the help of the remaining uh, olympians they overcome uh, chronos and um, titans these are the titans chronos is the head of the titans the olympians actually overcome zeus and out of these olympians there is one particular god called prometheus now prometheus is the god who actually cared about mankind and uh, he actually uh, as very peculiarly what happened is that uh, yeah fire we have uh, we have geeks geeks in the geek greeks uh so what happened is that zeus gets angry with mankind and removes fire from their use and uh, they uh, i mean they can't progress but prometheus decides that he will bring back that fire to mankind even though he has foresight and he knows he'll get punished for it so he still gives that to them and he gets punished very badly they chain him to rocks and every day uh vultures come and eat his uh, liver and uh, in the night the liver regenerates and the next day it starts all over again so he he actually goes through that and what hit me was that okay there, here's this olympian who's actually done something he's brought back a promethean spark and i was thinking that maybe all these little you know athletes that we have in our country maybe if we help them maybe they will also bring us a promethean spark or an olympic gold medal this one is called the win point us to the unknown mountains we will scare you them one by one take us to the untamed rivers we will drink from the banks beyond lead us on to our bound roads we will slay them with our days in our I can actually see some people kind of singing. You can sing. It's okay. You can bluff if you want and you know just sing. Doesn't matter. Well, the lyrics are all there. Can you read all this? I mean, is it happening? It's nice, no? Normally, I'm a poet. I always used to feel bad. I'll write so much lyrics nobody will hear it in the middle of a band. <laughs> uh so I'm enjoying this kind of an acoustic session as well, but you should see my band. 
when should we do a show here flipkart the tatva trip yeah arranged i have already got that please record okay uh do we have time what's the time now oh, we kind of no problem yeah. yeah continue okay who else come on i need a story now from one of you guys i'm going to make you tell your story now yes Hi good evening I'm Shubhayu Bhattacharya Shubhayu wow it's called hole hole the hole yeah hole, hole. Oh, okay okay uh, shubhayu where are you from obviously from calcutta yes and uh, i'm going to ask a personal question now hey we're all friends right do you find it difficult to forgive people not actually no ladies and gentlemen highly evolved soul over there please <laughs> Is he anybody's boss in this room? <laughs> no. No. So you can't even verify whether that's true or not. Anyway. <laughs> uh Shubhai, yeah, please uh sit down. I'm going to tell you a story first about uh one guy who actually goes to the Buddha and Buddha says, he says, "How can I forgive people? You know, it's very hard. It's very tough." And the Buddha says, uh, "You know what? If I put a burning coal inside your hand, what would you do?" And the man says, "I drop it." then the buddha says then why do you put even worse things in your heart so ladies and gentlemen you do not actually forgive somebody because they deserve it you do, you actually forgive them because you deserve it it is painful to walk around without forgiving people it's not good for you i guarantee you most of the time they are not thinking about you you're just wasting your life thinking about them and uh, i wrote this song for a friend of mine uh who would always get drunk every time he got drunk he'll say my dad threw me out when i was this thing and me and my wife and a little child we lived in one small one shed hut and he was i i heard this for about 4 5 years and i used to tell him you need to let go and you know he just it just was so tough for him and i started writing this song and in my mind i kind of drew a parallel between uh again i'm going christian over here apologies but jesus was actually god's son but he was thrown out he actually was born inside a manger right in in a stable and um, i thought that was hard it must have been hard because when you have not actually harmed anyone and you are actually punished for it it's a very tough thing in life right and i once saw a picture and that picture was very nice because it showed a, a soldier a roman soldier he was he had a hammer and he had a nail and he was just going to whack it and you couldn't see who was lying there just saw a hand and it was obviously a reference to jesus and the soldier was actually you know nailing him crucifying him and i remember that whoa that's such a nasty picture and i remember the thought that crucifixion was done for the worst of criminals child rapers molesters you know murderers i mean people who society just could not forgive they crucified them so as far as that that soldier was concerned this guy may have been somebody really horrible and he was just doing his job and the thought that how this thought progressed in my mind is that when jesus was finally going to die he said forgive them for they know not and what i think he is saying is that when people harm us it's because they don't know anything better yeah we also harm people sometimes we harm them because we don't know any better way to deal with them sometimes our own children when we're trying to advise them we advise them wrongly and we harm them and uh, i would say always remember this when somebody harms you forgive them for they know not this one is called whole <laughs> drink water please i forget i talk too much between songs and then i forget to drink water here we go
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Somebody's oh, okay. Ravish, volunteers are happening now. Somebody else's volunteer thing is going on. I actually had an uncle, which is very funny. He was one of those people who was very helpful. So you know, somebody is coming from outer station and said, "No problem. What time is your train? Three o'clock. No problem. We will pick you. Ada, you go and pick her." <laughs> you know, it used to happen a lot. So, who is volunteering somebody else's name? <laughs> Rajesh, okay. Rajesh, please pick up. Oh, you volunteered somebody else's name. He is the guy who is going to say, no problem. <laughs> uh, you're the uncle. <laughs> uh, that's the Mother Jane fan, right? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen you live before, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the song is Hey There, Little Bird. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, tell me about you. Uh, I mean, my name's Ravish, Ravish George, so I'm Malu too. Like. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, what else? Nothing much about me. I work here. Like. No, no, no. That's not good enough. Don't, don't we want to know a little bit more about Ravish? Like, are you single? Yeah, yeah. I'm very much. Like, very yes. much. Very much. <laughs> Ladies, please note. He's interested. <laughs> He's available. <laughs> uh, and uh, what do you do in Flipkart? I work in analytics and data sciences. Appa, uh, brains. Yeah. Okay. Will you do some... Help for us also. And so on. Okay. Yeah, done. You don't have an NDA and all that with the. Uh, NDA? What? Not NDA, no. You don't have a. You cannot work and help anybody else uh, contract and all in Flipkart, no? You do, no? Uh, not Amazon, but <laughs> 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 anything else, yeah. Anything else? Okay, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Ravish George. Huh? Yeah, okay, I'm not le- dancing, though. <laughs> uh, no, you're not dancing, don't worry. <laughs> um, what are your interests? Uh, lots of them, like uh, music. Traveling, trekking, uh, sports. Okay. Yeah. 
the song could be linked to your traveling thank you so much uh, we should meet by the way i would love to actually chat with you guys and all i'm bad on social media but i'm good person to person so if you want to talk to me this is the day to do that okay um, having said that please follow us on social media um okay uh, travel actually one day i was in kerala with my family and uh, we were on this boat in kumaragam and uh, it's this we went boating early in the morning and the sun was out and you know it was just glittering you know the the it, it just looked like it looked like there were stars on the water over there and we were seeing these siberian storks which were actually flying past and they come all the way from russia to kumaragam of all places and i was thinking wow i mean what makes a bird think that it can actually fly across such distances <laughs> yeah if you really look at it its size is actually not one of those inspiring things but a bird will actually do that kind of thing and i was thinking that that is so interesting and i took that and i took on a story that i'd heard of the red indians in america and uh, that story is because uh, supposedly when the white man was in america and they were actually trying to buy the lands from the red indians so they were giving the red indians liquor they were giving them gold they were giving them guns and the red indians were happily signing away their documents saying yeah you can take the land and all that and the white men were laughing at the red indians they were saying man these guys are idiots they actually selling off their land and the red indians were leaving and saying these guys are crazy how can you own mother earth don't we belong to mother earth and i thought that wow if a bird flew over the world would it actually see the divisions that we are making on this earth maybe not this one's called hey there little bird hey there little bird do you wing star when you fly a mighty traveler why do you seek that horizon tell me little one and i I'll tell everyone The stars look prettier as droplets in the night sky or as joyous reflections scattered on the waters of morn The dancing children of a morning sun if you want to hear more songs you have to call me in the band uh and in the meantime i'm going to talk about why i really am here of course i came here to play for you guys did you guys enjoy the session yes yes 
Uh, so did I. Really, uh, it's stressful, but it's nice. Uh, and I'm here because I've been in the indie music scene for a long time now. <clears throat> I've heard that Flipkart pays a solid salary. <laughs> yeah, uh, one of the best paymasters in the country. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. If most of you are told that, you know what, we'll give you exposure, you can work here for a month, maybe a year, and you know, if we like your work after one year, we will consider paying you a salary. How many of you would join? Nobody, right? That is the question that musicians face day in and day out. When a musician comes and performs, wherever he is doing that, most of the time people are saying, we will give you the exposure, we will give you a platform. They're never saying that we will pay you for that. And that's not fair. And that is the behavior that can be changed when one, one person, maybe one guy in this room starts saying that, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fair. I will pay to enter and see music. I will pay to listen to music. And uh, the music industry today is in such a bad situation because of the fact that it costs so much to produce a song and you get 10 paise per stream or something like that. So it virtually kills, uh, I keep telling people, Piracy does not kill music. Pirates kill musicians. So if you want to make a difference, uh, me as being a musician myself, we developed this app. I have a music foundation. Uh, along with doing things like Music Mojo, etc. We decided that, you know, we need a place where people can listen. Do you like the music that you were hearing today? You do. You've never heard it before, right? Most of this was fresh songs to you. Believe it or not, there are some fantastic Indian bands out there. Many of them better than me. So you actually need to actually start listening to Indian independent music. Because, let's face it, if something like, you know, the political situation in this country, something like that happens, you're not going to hear about that in the, you know, Bollywood film. They're not going to sing about that at all. If you want to hear about your country, if you want to hear about your countrymen, you actually have to start listening to independent music. Because independent music, in my, in my head at least, is that it is individuals singing about original stuff. Yeah, so if you would like to support this kind of thing, just download that app. It's called TGIIR, stands for Thang, uh, Thang, 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 stands for the Great Indian Indie Recordings. The reason why I, I, I fumbled was that when my sister saw that, my cousin's sister said, hey, what does that stand for? And my sister says, thank God it's in rupees. <laughs> yeah, uh, and we were actually making a, a pun because my, my foundation basically says some fans mean business. So if you are a fan of music, just download this app. It costs you 99 rupees a month. Every month you will lose 99 bucks, yes. But you should understand that 33% of that will go to the musicians who are on the app, transparently. There is no, there is a clarity in that. We are on a registered foundation, so whatever our income is on the thing, 33% will go to the artisan. We are not paying bands, we are paying individuals. And the reason we are doing that is that 10 years from now, the band may or may not exist. And then some guys left high and dry, you know, if the money goes only to a record label or whatever it is. So we are trying to take care of the, the musicians who have gone ahead and recorded something. Um, it is not a commercial angle at all, so we are basically trying to take care of the musicians in India, so 33% goes to them. 33% goes to funding new recordings. Recording is very expensive. Now what happens in Music Mojo, for example, is that an, a band comes down, they get a video made, we pay them 80,000 bucks and we give them the copyright of their recordings. So they're actually getting paid to record. And that has resulted in a lot of recordings and I hope all that music will actually come on this app. In fact, if you guys are making, you made some song, no? you should put it up on Tigger. www.tgiir.com Somebody will listen to you. People who are interested in independent music will listen to you guys. Uh, can I get a commitment from at least three people that you will download the app? Wow. Take photographs, everybody, all these people are, yeah. Uh, that, that will mean so much. I mean, and when you actually tell other people that you're doing this for this particular purpose, you can be proud of it. Next time you hear a song on this app and you like it, you can feel proud that, you know what, I'm sending money to this guy and his family. He might be able to take care of his children's fees. He might be able to take care of his parents' I mean, uh, medical bills. I don't know what it is. Music is tough in India. You will be doing a, a great favor to them. So, ladies and gentlemen, please do join us. Help me in this one more thing that I'm doing in my journey. 
I'm so glad that our journey is met today and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to be here with you guys. I do say that Flipkart has been fantastic so much. Thank you so much. Check. Let's hear it once again for Suraj Mani. Suraj, before you leave, surprise. we had promised everybody a surprise and we would like you to unveil that. Uh, wait. Are you going to wait for him to announce it first? Okay, we're ready. All right. Oh, I do have the mic. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pride and uh, pleasure to announce to you that uh, something special is starting in Flipkart today. And for me, it's special because as far as I'm concerned, music is one thing that unites people. You know, you look at different notes, you put them next to each other and they're beautiful. And that is a lesson for the way society itself should be. You should look at each other and say that you're different and that is beautiful. Because harmony, music is about harmony and society is about harmony as well. And if there is a music club that is started in a place like Flipkart, I think it is my great pleasure to be part of this thing. And I will formally, what do I do, shake your hand to say that, <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Flipkart has a music club today and it is called The Big Band Theory. Check. So what do they need to do now? Uh, so just go to go slash music club. Uh, you guys all know about go slash links, right? Okay. Go slash music club. Uh, you'll get to join the Google group. And uh, we'll use that Google group as the official uh, group for the music club. We have a room on the Tower B seventh floor, which is going to be dedicated for the music club. And we are also talking to the BGM category. Ashish was here, he just left. In fact, they are going to sponsor a few instruments. So we're going to have a couple of guitars and a keyboard and stuff like that. And people can just go up there and jam. But first, you need to join the Google group and then just wait for announcements. If anybody is uh, interested in forming the core committee for the music club, just drop me a mail, rajeshar at flipkart.com. I'll uh, make sure that, you know, when we are forming the committee, we'll have you also there. Super. So Thank you, Suraj you're the, Mani. You're the head of the music club, is it? Well, uh, volunteered and volunteered, <laughs> actually. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So I will assume that you will get whoever raised those 10 hands over there. I need 12. Uh, we'll all, yeah. Guys, first, first, condition, first condition is to download the app. Ah, How's right. that? Downloading the app and the subscription process. Of course, subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I have reached a stage where in my life where, you know, I... I've seen such fantastic musicians give up on music because they just can't sustain it. And it's criminal to let that kind of thing happen. In fact, some of the best musicians that I know are working in offices because they say we cannot sustain music. And that's a sin, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so if you can help by downloading in the app, listen to the great music there. There is some great music that you will find on it. And, uh, uh, I am in the stage where if somebody says, I'll give you 100 rupees subscription every month, I'll go and sing for them today. So that is what I've been doing here today. I hope to see you guys. Uh, if you want to ask any questions now, I guess there was... Yeah, we can take a couple of questions yeah, maybe. Sure. If... Everybody... Yucks. Okay, leave it there. It's easier. Maybe one more last song probably. Song? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> For the music club, this song. For How the music that? club. All right. Your choice. Thank you, Mandy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sing a song called uh, Tadagata. And uh, it's about the Buddha. And it's about the fact that uh, he said that you have to learn to live in the here and the now. Because if you think about it, we are most efficient when our body and mind are together. Often our minds go into the future, they go into the past. And we are not an efficient unit at that point of time. We think we are planning, but we plan too much. We plan to plan sometimes, you know. And uh, I keep telling people that if you have a gold bar next to you and your mind is somewhere in the future, you might be here, the gold coin may be there or the bar may be there, but you won't be able to pick it up because your mind is not here. And so ladies and gentlemen, please get together. Stay in the here and now. This song is about that. It's called Tadagata. And I want to do Doom, doom, doom. Louder. Every now and then, some men walk to swan and live forever. Knowing what we don't seem to understand.
Thank you. Thank you once again, Suraj. Thank you so much. Before we leave, there's one more small thing we need to do. This is a small gift from us to you. 50,000 rupees gift 50, vouchers. 50,000 rupees gift voucher to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't usually say this, but uh, a super job by Chiran and team for the sound. The guitar was sounding amazing and your vocals, of course, was brilliant. So thank you for the sound. Um, join us again for the next Blue Sky Talk. When's that happening? Probably soon. In in two weeks. And thank you once again, Suraj. Thank you. Let's hear it once again for Suraj. And yes, there are some snack boxes out there. So on your way out, please uh, grab a box. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you.